Now to that new trouble for evangelical leader Jerry Falwell Jr. This morning, a new 911 call emerging from his wife Becky about Falwell's condition, saying he was in danger just days after those allegations emerged about the Falwell's relationship with a pool attendant. Ariel Reshef has all the details. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Michael. It has been a tumultuous few months for Jerry Falwell Jr. And now the Huffington Post obtaining those 911 calls. Becky Falwell allegedly returning home from church to find the doors locked, breaking in the back door with a chair, finding her husband bleeding. This morning, a fall from grace for Jerry Falwell Jr. The Huffington Post releasing details of a 911 call allegedly placed by his wife, Becky Falwell, saying she returned home one night from church at 11 p.m. to find her husband injured and bleeding. According to the Huffington Post, Becky Falwell confirmed to the dispatcher that her husband had been drinking. But when the 911 operator asked if he had been drinking heavily, she said, I'm not going to answer that question. Dispatch logs also obtained by the Huffington Post show that Falwell told first responders he had hit his head on a trash can and that they had found empty alcohol containers nearby. An officer noting Falwell had slurred and slowed speech. The accident and 911 call taking place on August 30th, just one day before Liberty University announced an independent investigation into its former president. I would like to also take this opportunity. The private evangelical Liberty University imposes a strict code of ethics for students, including banning them from drinking alcohol. As our friendship has grown, so... Has Falwell resigned from the school in August after a series of scandals. First, this racy photo he posted on social media with his arm around his wife's assistant. He apologized and took it down, saying it was just in good fun from a costume party. Then the explosive news story about Falwell, his wife Becky, and a pool attendant and former business partner Giancarlo Granda. The 29-year-old claiming he had a seven-year affair with Becky as Falwell at times looked on. Falwell denies any involvement. Granda spoke exclusively with GMA last month about the alleged affair. Jerry's lying. Um, that was his game plan from the beginning, to just throw her under the bus, um, which I, I think speaks a lot about who he is, about his character. Um, and he was aware from day one of our relationship. And we reached out to both Falwell Jr.'s representatives and to Liberty University, and so far we have not heard back. Wit. Okay, Ariel, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.